Hello everybody, it's Dumplet here. Welcome back. Here's an item from Trigonometry. Credits to Perens Vis for this item. Prove the following identity. Tangent theta all over 1 plus tangent squared theta equals sine theta times cosine theta. As usual, pause this video and give this item a try. And if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now for me, generally, if I want to prove an identity, I would want to simplify the complicated part first. Um, as with the majority of math items, you will see, we're given with the objective to simplify. So let us try to deal with the left-hand side. Now the next thing that I'd like to do is I would like to convert everything in terms of sines and cosines, since those are the two most common trigonometric functions. And for me, it is easier to deal with sines and cosines than any other combination of trigonometric function. So let's do that. Note that when you're giving a proof, you're not allowed to use any properties of equalities. And it is best for us to just maintain whatever is on one side. For example, since we're manipulating the left-hand side, we shouldn't do anything to the right-hand right side. So the right-hand side will always remain to be sine theta times cosine theta. For the first step, we want to change tangent theta in terms of sines and cosines. Since we know that tangent theta is sine theta over cosine theta, we simply substitute it as shown. Now, since um, there's, there's, a, there's a complex fraction situation, so let us multiply the numerator and the denominator by the factor cosine squared theta. So we're simplifying things along the way. Now, the cosine squared will distribute in the denominator, and the cosine squared will cancel with the cosine theta in sine theta over cosine theta, so there will only be one factor of cosine theta at the numerator. And in the denominator, uh, the cosine squared theta will be distributed. So 1 times cosine squared theta will give you cosine squared theta, and sine squared theta over cosine squared theta will give you cosine squared theta. So in the next step, after multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by cosine squared theta, we're going to arrive with sine theta cosine theta all over cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to the original given. Note that I'm not doing anything to the right-hand side. In fact, I'm just writing, I'm just rewriting whatever is on the left-hand side. Now, in this step, we're technically done. All we have to do is to notice that cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is a Pythagorean identity. And this is equal to 1, since sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Now, since this is 1, this is actually equal to sine theta cosine theta all over 1, which is simply sine theta cosine theta. So we've successfully shown that the right-hand side, which we did not manipulate, is equal to tangent theta all over 1 plus tangent squared theta, since we are able to manipulate the given tangent theta all over 1 plus tangent squared theta in a series of steps up to the final step. And this is how you prove a trigonometric identity. Hope you guys learned something new from the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!